Rossby waves, also known as planetary waves, are a natural phenomenon in the atmospheres and oceans of planets that largely owe their properties to rotation of the planet. Rossby waves are a subset of inertial waves. They were first identified by Carl Gustav Arvid Rossby. Atmospheric Rossby waves on Earth are giant meanders in high-altitude winds that have a major influence on weather. These waves are associated with pressure systems and the jet stream. Oceanic Rossby waves move along the thermocline, the boundary between the warm upper layer and the cold deeper part of the ocean. <laughs> Rossby wave types Atmospheric waves <laughs> 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 Atmospheric Rossby waves result from the conservation of potential vorticity and are influenced by the Coriolis force and pressure gradient. The rotation causes fluids to turn to the right as they move in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. For example, a fluid that moves from the equator toward the North Pole will deviate toward the east, a fluid moving toward the equator from the north will deviate toward the west. These deviations are caused by the Coriolis force and conservation of potential vorticity which leads to changes of relative vorticity. This is analogous to conservation of angular momentum in mechanics. In planetary atmospheres, including Earth, Rossby waves are due to the variation in the Coriolis effect with latitude. Carl Gustav Arvid Rossby first identified such waves in the Earth's atmosphere in 1939 and went on to explain their motion. One can identify a terrestrial Rossby wave as its phase velocity, marked by its wave crest, always has a westward component. However, the collected set of Rossby waves may appear to move in either direction with what is known as its group velocity. In general, shorter waves have an eastward group velocity and long waves a westward group velocity. The terms, barotropic and baroclinic are used to distinguish the vertical structure of Rossby waves. Barotropic Rossby waves do not vary in the vertical, and have the fastest propagation speeds. The baroclinic wave modes, on the other hand, do vary in the vertical. They are also slower, with speeds of only a few centimeters per second or less. Most investigations of Rossby waves have been done on those in Earth's atmosphere. Rossby waves in the Earth's atmosphere are easy to observe as usually four to six large-scale meanders of the jet stream. When these deviations become very pronounced, masses of cold or warm air detach, and become low-strength cyclones and anticyclones, respectively, and are responsible for day-to-day -day weather patterns at mid-latitudes. The action of Rossby waves partially explains why eastern continental edges in the northern hemisphere, such as the northeast United States and eastern Canada, are colder than western Europe at the same latitudes. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Poleward propagating atmospheric waves. Deep convection heat transfer to the troposphere is enhanced over very warm sea surfaces in the tropics, such as during El Niño events. This tropical forcing generates atmospheric Rossby waves that have a poleward and eastward migration. Poleward propagating Rossby waves explain many of the observed statistical connections between low and high latitude climates. One such phenomenon is sudden stratospheric warming. Poleward propagating Rossby waves are an important and unambiguous part of the variability in the Northern Hemisphere, as expressed in the Pacific North America pattern. Similar mechanisms apply in the Southern Hemisphere and partly explain the strong variability in the Amundsen Sea region of Antarctica. In 2011, a Nature Geoscience study using general circulation models linked Pacific Rossby waves generated by increasing central tropical Pacific temperatures to warming of the Amundsen Sea region, leading to winter and spring continental warming of Ellsworth Land and Marie Bird Land in West Antarctica via an increase in advection. Topic: <laughs> Rossby waves on other planets. Atmospheric Rossby waves, like Kelvin waves, can occur on any rotating planet with an atmosphere. The Y-shaped cloud feature on Venus is attributed to Kelvin and Rossby waves. Rossby 
Topic: <laughs> Oceanic waves. Oceanic Rossby waves are large-scale waves within an ocean basin. They have a low amplitude, on the order of centimeters at the surface to meters at the thermocline, compared to a very long wavelength, on the order of hundreds of kilometers of atmospheric Rossby waves. They may take months to cross an ocean basin. They gain momentum from wind stress at the ocean surface layer and are thought to communicate climatic changes due to variability in forcing, due to both the wind and buoyancy. Both barotropic and baroclinic waves cause variations of the sea surface height, although the length of the waves made them difficult to detect until the advent of satellite altimetry. Satellite observations have confirmed the existence of oceanic Rossby waves. Baroclinic waves also generate significant displacements of the oceanic thermocline, often of tens of meters. Satellite observations have revealed the stately progression of Rossby waves across all the ocean basins, particularly at low and mid latitudes. These waves can take months or even years to cross a basin like the Pacific. Rossby waves have been suggested as an important mechanism to account for the heating of the ocean on Europa, a moon of Jupiter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Waves in astrophysical disks. Rossby wave instabilities are also thought to be found in astrophysical disks, for example, around newly forming stars. <laughs> Amplification of Rossby waves It has been proposed that a number of regional weather extremes in the Northern Hemisphere associated with blocked atmospheric circulation patterns may have been caused by quasi-assonant amplification of Rossby waves. Examples include the 2013 European floods, the 2012 China floods, the 2010 Russian heat wave, the 2010 Pakistan floods and the 2003 European heat wave. Even taking global warming into account, the 2003 heat wave would have been highly unlikely without such a mechanism. Normally freely traveling synoptic scale Rossby waves and quasi-stationary planetary scale Rossby waves exist in the mid-latitudes with only weak interactions. The hypothesis, proposed by Vladimir Pitokov, Stefan Ramstorff, Stefan Petri, and Hans Joachim Schellnhuber, is that under some circumstances these waves interact to produce the static pattern. For this to happen, they suggest, the zonal east -west wave number of both types of wave should be in the range 6 to 8, the synoptic waves should be arrested within the troposphere so that energy does not escape to the stratosphere and mid-latitude waveguides should trap the quasi-stationary components of the synoptic waves. In this case the planetary scale waves may respond unusually strongly to orography and thermal sources and sinks because of quasi -assonance". A 2017 study by Mann, Ramstorff, et al. connected the phenomenon of man-made Arctic amplification to planetary wave resonance and extreme weather events. Mathematical definitions Free barotropic Rossby waves under a zonal flow with linearized vorticity equation To start with, a zonal mean flow, U, can be considered to be perturbed where U is constant in time and space. Let U equals U V Displaystyle VEC U equals Langle U V Wrangle be the total horizontal wind field, where U and V are the components of the wind in the x and y directions, respectively. The total wind field can be written as a mean flow, U, with a small superimposed perturbation, U and V U equals U plus U T x y Display style u equals u plus u t x y v equals v t x y. Display style v equals v t x y. The perturbation is assumed to be much smaller than the mean zonal flow. U 
u v display style u g g u v relative vorticity eta u and v can be written in terms of the stream function psi display style psi assuming non-divergent flow for which the stream function completely describes the flow u equals psi y v equals minus psi x eta equals times u i caret plus v caret equals minus Two psi display style begin aligned u and equals frac partial psi partial y five pt v and equals frac partial psi partial x five pt eta and equals nabla times u math bf hat bold symbol imath plus v math bf hat bold symbol j math equals nabla carrot two psi end aligned considering a parcel of air that has no relative vorticity before perturbation uniform u has no vorticity but with planetary vorticity f as a function of the latitude, perturbation will lead to a slight change of latitude, so the perturbed relative vorticity must change in order to conserve potential vorticity. Also the above approximation u greater than greater than u ensures that the perturbation flow does not advection relative vorticity. d eta plus f d t equals zero equals eta T plus U eta X plus beta V Display style frac d eta plus f d t equals zero equals frac partial eta partial T plus U frac partial eta partial X plus beta V Beta equals f y display style beta equals frac partial f partial y. Plug in the definition of stream function to obtain zero equals two psi t plus u two psi x plus beta psi x display style 0 equals frac partial nabla caret 2 psi partial t plus u frac partial nabla caret 2 psi partial x plus beta frac partial psi partial x using the method of undetermined coefficients one can consider a traveling wave solution with zonal and meridional wave numbers k and respectively and frequency Omega display style Omega psi equals psi zero e i k x plus y minus Omega t display style psi equals psi underscore zero e carrot i kx plus ly omega t this yields the dispersion relation omega equals u k minus beta k k 2 plus 2 Display style omega equals u k beta frac k k carrot 2 plus l carrot 2 the zonal x direction phase speed and group velocity of the Rossby wave are then given by c omega k equals u minus beta k 2 plus 2 c g omega k equals U minus beta 
2 minus k2 k2 plus 2 2 display style begin aligned c and equivalent frac omega k equals u frac beta k caret 2 plus l caret 2 5 pt c underscore g and equivalent frac partial omega partial k equals u frac beta l caret 2 k caret 2 k caret 2 plus l caret 2 caret 2 end aligned where c is the phase speed c g is the group speed u is the mean westerly flow beta display style beta is the rossby parameter k is the zonal wave number and is the meridional wave number it is noted that the zonal phase speed of Rossby waves is always westward traveling east to west relative to mean flow U, but the zonal group speed of Rossby waves can be eastward or westward depending on wave number. <laughs> Meaning of beta The Rossby parameter is defined beta equals f Y equals one A D D Phi two Omega Sin Phi equals two Omega Cos Phi Display style beta equals frac partial f partial y equals frac one a frac d d var phi two omega sin var phi equals frac two omega cos var phi a phi display style var phi is the latitude. Omega is the angular speed of the Earth's rotation, and a is the mean radius of the Earth. If beta equals zero Display style beta equals zero. There will be no Rossby waves. Rossby waves owe their origin to the gradient of the tangential speed of the planetary rotation, planetary vorticity. A cylinder planet has no Rossby waves. It also means that at the equator of any rotating sphere-like planet, including Earth, one will still have Rossby waves, despite the fact that f equals zero. Display style f equals zero because beta greater than zero. Display style beta greater than zero. Equatorial Rossby wave. Topic. See also. Atmospheric wave. Equatorial wave. Equatorial Rossby wave, mathematical treatment Harmonic Kelvin wave Polar vortex Rossby whistle <laughs>